Hey guys, welcome back. Just hitting the backyard market here at the homestead. And uh, we'll talk a bit about butternut squash, which is really our bumper crop of the day. Uh, we picked some other things here just for our weekly um, consumption, you know, peppers, tomatoes, uh, cucumber. And but over here in the squash department, we have the butternut. So let's talk about when it is time to pick. And we see some of this. I don't know if you can tell. There's still a little bit of green stripe right there. A little bit of green stripe right there. So some of these uh, I pick. I guess this one's a little bit more ready. But as you see, if it's laying on the ground, uh, I'd like to get it before too many things get a chance to really uh, work their way into uh, the skin. So you know, keep it in mind if they're laying on the ground. Uh, sometimes I'll pick these a little early just to make sure that none of the critters get to them. Um, so what really is my guide is how the stem looks and whether or not it's nice and hard and if the plant is done sending nutrients. I'm also giving some of the younger ones uh, time to uh, develop as well. We're getting rid of or, or harvesting some of the um some of the older ones you can see here say for example um, uh, there's a young guy right there and uh, it's still getting plenty of nutrient uh, from its stem here is uh, another one kind of move the flower if you can see but um, it's not quite ready it's still more of a greenish color and uh, they're still sending plenty of nutrient to the plant or I mean to the uh, to the fruit, um, but let's say, uh, well, for here, now, this is a candidate for being cut. It's a lot darker color, if you can tell. And, um, you know, at this point, it's plenty big. You can see how hard that was to cut. And uh, this guy has some heft on it, but I also want to make sure that it is not going to... Um, going to suffer any damage from pest so it's better for me to pick these because keep in mind with this being a winter squash uh, it means that it is good for um, it'll keep all winter and I have kept these for over a year before so they store perfectly they're one of the best survival foods that you can grow um, partly because um, of how long they store so what that means is I better cut this that's pretty <laughs> pretty large pepper there and uh, there's another large pepper I should cut uh, just to give make sure some of the other peppers can grow but I see another large squash uh, back here and I will do the same uh, you see here the uh, the birds having their way with um, sunflower seed, which this was a sunflower. So sometimes the birds get some of your sunflowers. And uh, there's the evidence there <laughs> that the birds have been eating plenty of sunflower. But yeah, looks like this, uh, this guy, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And as you see there, just to make sure it doesn't get, you know, uh, I'd rather harvest it a little early than to see it damaged or ruined. Uh, if I could make my way out of here. So as you see, there's a bumper crop of butternut squash, and there are a ton uh, more. Let me grab my uh, grab some more peppers. Uh, there's a lot more. In fact, looks like here's another guy. I mean. I'm going to let that stem feed that one for a little while. Um, but I'm starting to see a few more in the yard. But uh, I think I'll cut it off here. So uh, if you keep in mind the fact of how large this thing is and the fact that it lasts um, all winter long, you can see why um, it is the perfect survival food. Uh, this stuff will rot. <laughs> Some of it will go to the chickens. Like, there's no way we can eat all of the tomatoes that we have. We have tomatoes, you know, rotting, so we just give them to the chickens. Um, or, you know, dehydrate them. But when it comes to the butternut squash, you can pretty much just let it sit in the coolest spot in your house. And you are set for, um, 
you know, all winter. So grow butternut squash. It's very easy, easy squash to grow. And we have a lot more uh, still out there. You guys have a good one. Peace.